Tell them who you are If you're living in the movement You wanna praise God This is how we do it That's a bad strainer Might have to get that out of there well, Let's take this loose Take some parts loose We'll have to cut this down, so. Whenever you take these off, make sure you don't lose that. Don't lose this. So, this is just barely sitting. So, we can get the, get the tool on it. Yep. I, I don't like to reuse these because they never tighten back up. You can see how that nut's just falling right off. You know what I mean? Okay. So the nut, nut's no good. We'll set that aside, pop this back up. We'll clean this rim off real quick and uh, install the new one. So this is the style that I always like to put on. Um, it's just a big bowl. It makes it a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I like this style because I don't have to worry about that stupid nut coming loose. It's got the bottom nut on it. This right here holds it all together, man. Boop, boop. So I'll put some putty on there and go to it. So if you ever get plumber's putty, get it out of the bowl or whatever, and it's real hard or not pliable, run it under um, hot water. It makes it pliable again. Uh, putting it in a microwave didn't work as good as putting it in a, uh, just letting warm water run on it, make it all pliable again. But anyways, I always use plumber's putty. I've seen a lot of guys use silicone. You can do that. But then you have to wait for it to kind of set up a little bit. But put a little plumber's putty on there. Stick it in the hole. <clears throat> Clean that mush off. Um, so you take your ring nut. Put that on there. Spinner on. Like I said, on this one here, I'm not too worried about that cardboard, that paper, because I'm not spinning. You know what I'm saying? This style here mashes up. So I don't have to worry about the, the cardboard spinning out of the way. And it makes it much easier install. Make sure I'm in the hole. Give her a good squeeze, bro. One big difference about this is when you use this style, 
your drop pipe is going to have to be changed. There we go. This pipe right here just got real short real quick. So, Okay, so my pipes need to be cut down now. So you can only go this far. So I'll set that right there. Make sure my pipe's up high enough. And we'll mark it right there. And then we'll cut it. We'll get the rigid. I love this thing, man. It's bad. Just mash the pipe down. You can you can pop it in place if you want. You just get right where the mark is, right in the hole. Let's see if I get that right there. And then you just spin it. It even gives you a directional area which way to spin it. Bam! That quick. Two turns. Nice clean cut. Ready to go. Now we'll put this bad boy back together. Put the nut on first. And my new seat ring. We'll put the nut back on with the rubber. Put that back in y'all. Pull this out where I can get to it. And when you put these together, you always want to make sure you straight them down. This pipe is slightly in a bind. So I need to cut this pipe down. Yeah, I can push it over. It's not a problem. But I need it to go over about a half inch. That's a little too far to be yanking on it. And that could be the reason why there was a problem to begin with. So, whoops, lost my rubber. So now I'm going to spin this over out of the way. And see, I don't have to take that pipe out because I just use this. And we're only going to cut by half inch off. Okay. So now I got that adjusted. There we go. Nice, clean, straight up and down with no uh, resistance. Like I said, I just need to cut a hair off. Oh, but put my seat back in there. Have that in there. Tighten this back up. Give us another turn. Make sure we're tight. Spin that thing on. Give her a good spin. Tighten it up. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Run some water. So I'll let the water run for a couple minutes and it heats that plumber's putty up and the pipes and I can tighten this up the rest of the way. Ooh, that water is hot. Tighten that up. Tighten it up. Make sure everything's good and tight, man. Works like a charm, bro. Peace out. Tell them who you are if you're living in the movement. You want to praise God. This is how we do.